If you want cheap Microsoft points and game codes, check out g2a.com. Links in the description below. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm back with my traditional series, Hoop Forms Best. Remy vs Balotelli this episode. This is going to be a great episode. I haven't used Balotelli. I've used Remy a little bit. And um, yeah, I can't really say too much about Balotelli as I say. But they do look similar players. Ignore chemistry styles on them. That's how I got them when they were bought. And personally, they don't make a fucking bit of difference. So I, like, if people think they do, fair enough. But this is a series designed to see who plays better for me. So personally, I think chemistry style, especially on strikers, make no difference whatsoever. So uh, I'm just going to leave them like that. But anyway, 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, 6 foot for Emi. And Balotelli is 6 foot 2 with 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot. And great all round stats to be honest. They're similarly priced at around about the 10 to 15 k mark so let's just get into this and see who gets the higher match ratings right heading into game one he's got a fairly solid team it's all bundesliga apart from the front three which is psg levetti cavani lucas etc so fairly decent team so anyway we start off and cavani gets an opportunity here and it's well finished to be honest keeper was a bit unlucky but it's one nil to him then i play the ball down to remy and that's a nice little finish maybe his keeper should have done a little better but it's one one then he gets an opportunity and I'm sorry, what the hell is De Gea doing there? Like, that's a glitch in the game. Ridiculous how that was able to get in. But anyway, he plays the ball forward, passes it along and there's nothing I can do there. He makes it 3-1. But then a lovely layoff from Remy. Great piece of skill from Balotelli. Turns inside and it's 3-2. Good finish there. Then Balotelli here finds a lovely ball through to Remy who heads it down for Remy Cabela. And he slots it past the keeper to make it 3-3. And then... My opponent gets another chance in the 90th minute. He gets the ball back as Lucas and then manages to somehow slot it in, in off the post. So he does win that 4-3. But as always, it's only what matters is the match ratings at the end of the game. So yeah, we come up against a very, very solid BPL team there. Diego Costa, company, Inform One Yama, etc. So yeah, he opens the scoring yet again. It's Sturridge this time, finessing it around the keeper. But I get a quick... Uh, reply with Balotelli here some nice skills some nice dribbling and he manages to bury that into the bottom left hand corner great goal there then he gets another opportunity with Ozil and he shoots it's just a bland goal that I concede all the time and I need to work on it but anyway Remy here great Maradona to get around the uh, player keeper maybe should have done better but it's 2-2 then Remy through to Balotelli he's got so much space I'm bombing through no he's got pace I can see Remy Cabela in the corner of my eye so I uh, through ball it to him and Cabela's got an easy finish and it's 3-2 to me but then straight from kickoff he does the dribbling kickoff glitch where he midfielders out of place and Costa's never gonna miss inside the box let's be honest and then Remy lovely little pass to Balotelli Balotelli lovely through ball back to Remy. Remy holds the ball up, gets around the defender and slots it in, well smashes it in to make it 4-3 to me. So a reverse of game one and we've won that. So 1-1, one, one, lost one so far. The next game, he's just went all out for pace, let's be honest. Like every player in that team has at least 90 I believe. But anyway, Remy here, I try and back heel it to Balotelli but he latches onto it himself. So it did look pretty good because he was able to get that space in the midfield which is ridiculous. But then he gets completely taken out by Clichy, rightly so, a penalty, and Clichy gets red carded, Balotelli steps up, he's not going to miss a penalty, he's got like 99 I think, because he's only missed one in his career so far, and then Remy, over to Balotelli, honestly, this partnership is brilliant, Balotelli passes it to Fellaini for a little sweaty, open goal to make it 2-0, then Remy has got acres of space, he's playing um, ultra attack, my opponent at this point, and he's got 10 men, so I found it incredibly easy, then my opponent gets a corner, but here, what a clearance that is from whoever that was. I couldn't make it out. It might have been Fellaini, might have been the guy next to him. But anyway, Remy, he's not going to be caught. And you know what? I thought I'd be a little cocky, a little dink over, a little messy chip there to make it 4-0. Very, very nice goal. Great performance. And we've won two and lost one. So, in game one, Remy got 9.7. Balotelli, 8.6. <clears throat> in game two, Remy got 9.1 and Balotelli 9.3. And then in game three, Remy got 9.6 and Balotelli 8.4. So a very, very formidable partnership and I would definitely recommend you it. But here are the ratings side by side. It's fairly obvious from the range who has won and it is 
Remy. Both got incredibly high scores. I think 9.46 is the highest of anyone. And uh, 8.76 is not bad by any stretch of the imagination. So this group could come down to the wire. Remy is currently ahead with three points. He's beat Balotelli, but both are fantastic strikers on FIFA 15. And now the next game is Aguero versus Drogba. Before we cycle back and we play match fixtures two of all the groups. So hopefully you do enjoy. And yeah, peace.